My name is Peter and I'm going to be going over the importance of emergency exercises in the hope that I can get the city to best participate in large and small scale emergency exercises, uh, both practical and tabletop exercises. Uh, tabletop exercises, it's a round table exercise. Uh, no actors are needed, no uh, extra resources. Uh, group gets together, they discuss, uh, they see where uh, things may need to be practiced, where different ideas need to be gone over. Practical functional exercises, uh, they're the small scale, uh, testing new equipment, learning new equipment, uh, running small scale scenarios, things like that. Uh, full scale exercises would be uh, a mock uh, mass casualty incident, say a plane crash or a train accident, something that would stress the capacities of emergency management services and uh, local resources. Uh, why? Why do we need to do these? Why should we do these? Uh, training for real life events and situations. Uh, if we're not prepared, we cannot respond. It's best to be uh, proactive and ready for these events and not purely reactive to them. Uh, gives uh, responders a chance to use the equipment in near real life situations uh, if they don't know how to use their tools if they're not proficient with them it'll slow down responses that could have negative impacts later on and it's time to make mistakes uh, better to make a mistake in a training exercise where you can pause and reset and regroup as opposed to making the mistakes uh, that could be easily avoided in a real life situation and uh, just makes people more comfortable. Um, another example of why, uh, Rick Ruscorla, uh, he was a soldier, uh, British national, uh, moved to the US and enlisted in the US Army, actually took place, um, or took part, excuse me, in the Vietnam Battle of Il Drang that uh, was made famous by We Were Soldiers, the movie uh, featuring Mel Gibson as Hal Moore. Um, he was a World Trade Tower hero, uh, credited saving over 2,000 lives. The company he worked for as a security and safety officer, um, he was not comfortable with the fact, the location of their offices, and actually felt it necessary to have his uh, employees uh, do fire drills constantly, all the time, practice, practice, practice. Um, and so when the North Tower was attacked, uh, his offices were in the South Tower and over the overhead, they were saying, stay put, everything's fine, stay calm. He said no. He got all of his people out. Um, and in fact, uh, in a timely, efficient manner, none of them were injured getting out. They knew what to do. They knew how to get out. They exited the building safely. Um, the only downside is because of his philosophy of leaving nobody behind, he was last seen actually going back into the tower when it was struck by the second plane. Um, and unfortunately, his body was never found. But still, uh, proving that having people exercise and do these drills really does get them. Um, when should we do them? Uh, new equipment, tools, technology available whenever we get that. Um, learn your new tools. If we get a new piece of equipment for the city, uh, the people responsible for that piece of equipment should know how to use it. Um, quarterly or yearly, how frequently? Um, it is possible to run too many exercises, but having some kind of large scale drill once a year, every other year, not a bad idea. Having smaller exercises quarterly or every six months would really help with training. Um, living where we do, earthquakes, wildfire, flooding, and human-caused events are all on, on the forefront. Front. Uh, here in Alaska, we've had earthquakes. Uh, we deal with wildfires almost yearly. Uh, flooding, different areas deal with it almost yearly. Um, some areas have dealt with it better and instituted things like the flood control project out at Chena Lakes. Um, but you never know when those may be uh, put to the test or uh, incapacitated due to these incidences. And unfortunately, in this uh, time in the world, human caused events are a serious thought. Um, whether it be small scale, large scale events, those must be put into consideration. Um, cost. Um, pretty simple here. What's the cost of a better response? Um, or what's uh, saving lives worth? Um, though the large scale uh, 
Drills can be a little bit more costly. Uh, we can get volunteers to come in and play either as uh, victims or as needed. We can get different companies to donate their time and resources. Um, having people come in and just uh, donate their time is a huge benefit. Obviously, those that we require to be there, we'd have to pay them for their time. Um, and that can add up, but it's well worth the cost of the training. Um, here's some good little resources. Uh, any questions, go ahead and ask. Otherwise, uh, thank you for your time.